Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Ali Khan. Now I am going to start the main problems on funds flow analysis. Last two videos I have completed the short problems on this topic of funds flow analysis. Before that two videos I have uploaded on the theory of funds flow analysis. So I suggest you before watching the problems be clear about the concept of statement of changes in working capital and statement of source and application. All these things in detail I have explained in the theory video. If you have not watched, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject cost control and management accounting. In that you will find the video of funds flow analysis theory. Watch the first two videos. Be clear regarding the meaning, what we have to do, how to prepare the funds flow statement. Then you watch the short questions. You will get a lot of confidence. Then you can watch the main problem. So before starting the main problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So always keep ready the problems and take a screenshot of the solution of the first two problems. Then I'll explain each and every point in detail. So watch the video till the end. Come on, see the first problem. You are given the following comparative balance sheet of Mohan Limited. Particulars, last year 2016, current year 2017. Balance sheet is given. Equity and liability shareholders from share capital. Last year share capital 25,000, current year 25,000. No change, ignore. So when there is increase in share capital, issue of shares. When decrease in share capital, that means redemption of shares. Always keep a notebook beside you when you watch this video. Whenever I say something, roughly you write it down so that you will, uh, you, you will not forget it in the coming problems. It will be very much easier for you to understand. So there is no change in share capital, ignore. Reserves and surplus last year 2300, current year 1000. Actually, one of the important points in funds flow analysis is funds from operation. This is the profit adjusted for non-cash items. The profit is there in reserves and surplus every year whatever profit the company earns that will be kept in reserves and surplus so by using reserves and surplus we find out funds from operation in this problem no complications are given if the reserves and surplus increased it means funds from operation if the reserves and surplus decreased it means funds lost in operation so there may be Increase or they may be decrease. Increase means funds from operation. Decrease means funds lost in operation. So in our problem decreased. So funds lost in operation. Write it down immediately. Then trade liabilities, uh, trade payables. Current liability, only one current liability we have trade payable. Then asset side, non-current assets, fixed assets. Fixed assets last year 6,600, current year 10,000. Actually, in your material, it is given 5,500. Cut it off 5,000 5, rupees. Cut off that 5,000, make it 10,000. Then only the balance sheet will tally. There is a I mean, typing mistake. Typing mistake there. Instead of uh, 10,000, it has been taken 5,000. Make it 10,000. So fixed asset last year 6,600. Current year 10,000. Increase in fixed asset means purchase of fixed asset. Write it down immediately. Increase in fixed assets means purchase of fixed asset. When there is purchase, there is outflow of cash application. So we'll take this increase in fixed asset as an application of funds. Then current assets are inventory, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent. All current assets and current liability we'll take in statement of changes in working capital. The non-current assets and non-current liability, we have to take it in source and application. These two statements combined together constitute funds flow statements. That's it. Current accounts here. Non-current accounts, source and application. That's it. 
is it's clear now. You are required to prepare a statement of changes in working capital and statement of source and application of funds. First, we are going to make statement of changes in working capital. Statement of changes in working capital for the year ended 31st March 2017, current year. So four columns, last year column 2016, current year column 2017. Increase and decrease. Four columns we require the extreme right hand side. Particulars. Current assets. Three current assets are given inventories, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent. Whatever amounts are given, same amounts have taken in last year and current year column. Don't take anything in increase and decrease. Afterwards, I'll explain. You also do the same thing. In examination, when you practice, first of all, you have to fill up the data only for last year and current year. So last year, current year, total of current assets 25,200, current year 23,000. These are the total of current assets. Current liability, only one trade payable. Last year 4,500, current year 7,000. B. A is the total of current assets. B is the total of current liability. Working capital means current asset minus current liability. So here 25,200 minus 4,500, 20,700 is the working capital last year. Current year 23,000 minus 7,000, 16,000. We got the working capital. Now compare it. There is increase in working capital or decrease in working capital. Last year 27,700, current year 16,000. Decrease in working capital. So here decrease in working capital. How much is the difference? 4,700 is the difference. Put this 4,700 in that column where lesser amount is there. The amount is less 16,000. In that column, 4,700. Now total 2,700 both the columns. We got the answer. The purpose of preparing this statement of changes in working capital is to increase or decrease to find out. So we have we got the answer 4,700. This is our answer. Now to confirm whether our answer is correct or not for that purpose we are opening two columns <clears throat> increase and decrease now remember carefully if there is increase in current asset increase in working capital decrease in current asset decrease in working capital so last year 9000 current year 8000 decrease by 1000 so decrease column 1000 last year 11500 current year 12000 increase by 500 so increase column 500 Last year 4,700, current year 3,000, 1,700 decreased, so decrease column 1,700. But for current liability, opposite rule. If increase in current liability, decrease in working capital. Decrease in current liability, increase in working capital. Opposite rule for current liability. Now last year 4,500, current year 7,000. Increase in current liability, so decrease column 2,500 opposite over three current assets one current liability completed lastly we got decrease if you get decrease in working capital that decrease should be taken in increase column this 4700 should be taken in the increase column we have taken all the things now find out the total if you get the same total in increase and decrease column that is sure that means your answer is absolutely right 4700 we got the answer and that is absolutely right if you commit any mistake in calculating these things that means the total of increase and decrease will not be equal if you commit the mistake if you do not commit the mistake the total will be equal or this is the statement of changes in working capital now statement of source and application of funds don't take current assets and current liability. Leave the current assets and current liability. Other items will take it here. First, share capital 25,000, 25,000. No change. Ignore. Now, reserves and surplus. Just now I told you. If there is increase in reserves, funds from operation. If there is decrease in reserves, funds lost in operation. If there is funds from operation, source side. If funds lost in operation, application side. Here, there is loss in, lost in operation. So, funds lost in operation. Last year, 2300, current year, 1000. So, 1300 is the loss. Funds lost in operation. Then, current liability already we have taken. Current assets, non-current assets. Non-current assets, fixed assets. 
last year 6600 current year 10000 i told you just now to make a correction there it's not 5000 it's 10000 increase in fixed assets the fixed asset will increase due to purchase and when we purchase the fixed asset there is application of funds funds will go away so here the fixed assets have increased so it should be taken in application side if there is decrease in fixed asset it means there is sale of fixed asset and that would be taken on the source side in the coming problem will come across but right now increase in fixed asset means there is purchase of fixed asset so current year 10,000 last year 6,600 how much purchased 3,400 fixed assets are purchased next is given current assets we are not concerned with current assets already we have taken here ignore that's all last point if you get decrease in working capital you should take it on the source side if you get increase in working capital take it on the application side always throughout the all the problems remember the rule decrease in working capital source side increase in working capital if you get you take it on the applications right now we got decrease so here decrease in working capital 4700 if you do not commit any mistake the total of source and application will be equal so here 4700 4700 that means you have done correctly this is the first problem on funds flow statement both i have prepared same procedure we will follow it on the remaining problems but some complications will arise here it's very simple problem now second one problem number two the following are the balance sheets of mihika limited from which you are asked to prepare the funds flow statement both the statements so here last year 2016 current year 2017 share capital last year 125000 current year 150000 means during the current year shares were issued when shares are issued by the company there is inflow of cash that is a source when cash is coming in the business it is inflow and that should be under source if cash is going out of the business it is outflow that should be taken on application so logically think that whether we are getting the cash or whether we are paying the cash if paying the cash application getting the cash source so issue of shares last year 125 current year 150 issue of shares 25,000 so you can see here issue of shares 150 minus 125 25. next item next item reserves and surplus last problem reserves and surplus have decreased so we have written funds lost in operation but here reserves and surplus have increased last year 60 current year 75 funds from operations funds generated in operation it's a source so here funds from operations 75,000 current year last year 60,000 to 15,000 you can just make the comparison here here we have taken funds lost in operation application here I am taking funds from operation source right next non-current liabilities are not there current liability already we have taken in working capital igno assets fixed assets last year 20,000 current year 30,000 last year 20,000 current year 30,000 there is purchase due to purchase of fixed asset fixed asset have increased so here purchase of fixed asset 10,000 30,000 minus 20,000 then non-current investment investment last year 15,000 current year 10,000 investments have decreased how the investment will decrease we have sold some investment during the year some investments are sold when we sell the investment, we'll receive the cash. That is a source. Receiving the cash on sale of investment. So here you can see sale of non-current investment, 15,000 minus 10,000, 5,000. Then current assets are given. All current assets and current liability, we take it in working capital. This is the statement of changes in working capital. Current asset, inventory, traditional cash. All the values, last year values, current year values are given. Take the total 220 285 current assets current liability is only one trade payable trade payable only one current 
तो ए माइनस बी इज द वर्किंग कैपिटल टू ट्वेंटी माइनस सेवेंटी वन फिफ्टी टू एटी फाइव माइनस वन लैख वन एटी फाइव इफ यू कंपेयर लास्ट ईयर वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वर्किंग कैपिटल करंट ईयर वन लैख एटी फाइव थाउजेंड देर इज इंक्रीज इन वर्किंग कैपिटल लास्ट प्रॉब्लम देर इज डिक्रीज हियर वी गॉट इंक्रीज इन वर्किंग कैपिटल हाउ मच वन एटी फाइव माइनस वन फिफ्टी इज थर्टी फाइव पुट थर्टी फाइव इन दैट कॉलम विच इज लोअर दिस इज लोअर तो थर्टी फाइव टोटल वन एटी फाइव now we want to confirm whether our 35000 answer is correct or not for that increase and decrease 87 to 120 there is increase by 33000 98 to 90 there is decrease by 8000 35 to 75 increase by 40000 here 70 to 1 lakh increase by 30000 but we write it in decrease column i told you opposite increase in current liability decrease in working capital last one increase if you get the increase in working capital take the amount in decrease column opposite 35 the total of increase and decrease 73 73 if you get the total same that means your answer is absolutely right this 35000 is correct now you got increase in working capital i told you increase in working capital should be taken on application Previous problem we got decrease in working capital. Decrease we have taken on source side. Here we got increase in working capital. This increase will be taken on the application side. Increase in working capital. That's it. It's very easy to prepare statement of changes in working capital to find out the increase or decrease we have taken. The other non-current items you have to take it in source and application. Again I repeat this is the first time we are having some complication. share capital increased it is issue of shares if share capital have decreased it is redemption of shares that we would have to take on application in the coming problem will come but in this problem increase in share capital similarly funds from operation reserves and surplus have increased that's why funds from operation if it is decreased funds lost in operation we would have taken on application side next one is sale of non current assets the non current assets have decreased during the current year if you see the problem so when it's non current asset decreased it means sale of non current asset the non current investments are sold so source side similarly fixed assets fixed assets have increased that means purchase of fixed asset application side purchase of fixed that's it if you do not commit any mistake then the total of source and application will be equal and we got it 45000 45000 that means we have done correctly this is the end of problem number 2 so two problems main problems i have completed in this video first and second inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video